beyond camera lighting and techniques everyone thinks this any can this camera speak more louder sir can you speak more louder because your voice is not audible so that's can you hear now can you hear yeah yeah now you yeah you yeah okay so people always say what camera shall i use what uh, tech lighting can i use what uh, uh, software can i use everything but basically that is not the important thing important thing is what happens after that now lighting is like 20% of the show the shoot you do one foot shoot you can do all foot shoot you can do you, you do one uh, hello विजय जी प्लीज आप आपका ये बंद कीजिए स्क्रीन आपने शेयर किया है ना नहीं विजय मेघना जी बंद करो आपने नीचे स्केल शेयर स्क्रीन ओपन कर दिया है या ओके सो यू डू वन लाइटिंग यू कैन डू एवरीथिंग यू डू वन फूड शूट यू कैन डू एवरीथिंग यू डू वन इंडस्ट्रियल शूट यू नो बेसिकली द एडीसी इज ऑलमोस्ट द सेम बट व्हाट हैपेंस आफ्टर आफ्टर दैट आई मीन पीपल गिव सो मच अटेंशन टू लाइटिंग टू कैमरा to all sorts of things excepting the actual shot what is actual shot that is the most important thing it's like uh, you know you you learn to drive a car driving a car after after one year say you are just driving you don't even know which gear what you're doing which light it's all automatic the same thing with photography after you've done one or two years of photography everything is is natural everything is like instinct So then you leave all the camera lighting everything aside and concentrate. On Sir, mic. I can go. I can go. Mic. I can go. Mic. Mic. I can go. Up. Face. Keep on. Go. Mic. Mouth. Keep on. Go. Mic. Slow. Up. Mic. I can go. Mic. Mouth. Mic. Mic. I can go. Keep. I'm talking from my headphone, but I have to change the headphone. One minute. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Ah. Uh, can you hear now? No. No. Very slow. I think it's perfect. Very slow. Ah. Uh? Very slow voice. Ah. Uh, one minute. Try to loudly. Let me go to the old fashioned one minute. Yeah, yeah. Max, Max, Max. But I think you know, Joyce, beta, bye, bye. Mahesh, please can you dress up properly and please attend the meeting. You know, audio quality is okay, yo. Hello. Can you hear now? Yes, perfect. Yeah, but you have to speak slightly loudly. Then only we can able to hear you very nicely. And, uh, okay, now is better. Yeah, no, it's okay. Still, it is not that much. I mean, it's okay. Okay, no, I'll try because this is the loudest. Can you me? If you can keep your mic near to your mouth, then only it will be possible for you. I'm using the mic, uh, built-in mic. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Then you try to talk light loudly. Is this better? Is this better now? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, perfect. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Do you speak Hindi? Do you speak yeah, Hindi? Hindi, Hindi, Hindi speak. Hindi speak. No, if I speak Hindi, everybody will run away from here. My Hindi is not. But <laughs> <laughs> <Magar, laughs> yeah, if you can in between also slightly, thoda word, you can use it. Okay, so anyway, everybody thinks you know camera lighting. Camera lighting is not so special. It's just for ten years. After ten years, it becomes natural. You're like driving a car. You don't have to think what you're doing. It happens automatically. You don't have to think what you're doing. It happens automatically. What are the considerations on the picture, on the shot? What am I doing in the shot? How am I placing the different uh, items in the shot? How how am I shooting industrial shoot? How am I doing? Vinod uh, Bhai, please, nikalo Vinod Bhai. Vinod Krishnan, nikalo. Vinod Krishnan. Oh, my God. Sunil Bhai, Sunil Bhai, come here. Don't talk. 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 Don't Sunil uh, bhai don't uh, disturb me please okay oh yes sir Sorry. okay so now like driving i said when you know now people are so concerned about shooting what they're going to shoot how much money they're going to make but they're not interested in not so much concentration on what the actual shooting is what uh, goes into a picture now uh, photography after some time becomes it's very easy it's natural but you have to concentrate on the shot that means any assistant knows how where the light goes for a food shoot where the light goes for a jewelry shoot where light goes for an industrial shoot even they can do it but the thing is the difference between uh assistant and a photographer is photographer knows is like an artist who knows how to compose the picture with either with a art director or without art director so anyway so I got a note some notes 
um, normal tendency is people to do everything. They want to do fashion, they want to do interiors, they want to do food, jewelry. But the idea is to concentrate, concentrate on one on one aspect of photography, or maybe two or three aspects of photography. Like I don't touch fashion at all because it's a different ball game. I don't understand. I don't want to know. I used to do it, but I've given up. Okay. Now what happens is people normally photographers they got the bag ready. Client calls up. We got to do a shoot. Ah, ah, sab, ah, sab. I'm coming and take the bag and go for the shoot. Mute pe rakna please. Zafar, Zafar. Hurry, Atul, make everyone mute, na? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, carry on, sir. Ah, so, uh, if a client calls you, first thing you got to ask is questions. What is the shoot about? Is uh, it's a still life shoot or a product shoot? What is the shoot about? Is it um, who are the the target audience? How many pictures are there? Who who is it? Is it aiming at the rich people or poor people or I mean middle class people? What is the product? Where is the product going to be? Which ad is it going to be used in ad, in website, in uh, in any media? What you have to know that accordingly you, you have to be mentally prepared to arrange everything to shoot for that. As I'll come to you later when I show you the work when I show you the thinking process. It's all a thought process. You have to. Talk to the client, get information to the, from the client as to what the product is. The uh, client says, "I need to do ten shots. Give me a quote." Hey, ten shots? Kya hai? It's like you telling your your painter or your architect, your interior decorator, "I've got hundred uh, uh, five hundred square feet house. Please hey, give me a quote." Are hey, quote kis pe? What do you want? You want marble? You want paint? You want uh, pop? What do you want in the house? Accordingly, you give the quote. The client, the client will bring up. Give me. I got ten shots. Ah, uh, ten shots. I'm ten clicks. Can I? Kitna, how much is it? What is it? What do you want? Ask him questions. How many shots? What is the product? Where is it going to be? In Bombay, out of Bombay. How many things? So all those questions have to be asked, and then you need a proper brief of what exactly it is. If you can go for a meeting, better to go for a meeting and understand what the, what the shoot is about. Sometimes some shoots you need stylist to be involved. Food uh, or fashion, you need a stylist involved. So go and discuss. Get the stylist in the meeting and discuss what can be done, what cannot be done. Otherwise, there will be a lot of surprises on the day of the shoot. Now, I hope everyone can is getting me, na? Yeah, yeah. So, hmm. What happens is the clients are lazy. They want you to shoot. They say shoot. The product or shoot. Uh, this thing is my package for my for this is my layout. Shoot and keep a lot of place around so I can make it square. I can crop vertical. I can crop horizontal. I can do make it a circle. But that is not the way because when you're shooting, you have to shoot for the layout, exact layout. So if a picture has to be horizontal, has to be shot horizontal. You cannot shoot horizontal and afterwards make it vertical or or reverse. But what these clients try to do. They're too lazy to design or to think beforehand what they want, so they will show you our industrial brochure, five pictures. No, is it horizontal? Is it vertical? Is it square? And you have to shoot, compose. In that, I will explain to you again when I show you the show the work. So it's very important shooting to your layout. Client will say, "You keep it in the center and give me a lot of place around so he can chop and change." That is not the way to shoot. Now, digital photography. Is a great boon. I mean, when digital photography is coming, it's a great boon because uh, you know you can see what you've done. You can you can reshoot. But what it does also is make people lazy. Arey chalega yar, I can do. And instead of using the head and and uh, and thinking about lighting, you they put one light, take a shot. Put another light, take a shot. Using the digital like a Polaroid. Instead of using their brain, without it's like a designer. Designer, instead of a good designer, old designer, old-fashioned designer. If you want to design, will take up page, do a drawing, do a sketch of the ad, do a thing, and then then go to the computer and do it. A new generation will go on the computer. Now first, they'll draw a square, put this, put that, put that, 
that is not the way same thing with photography now just because digital doesn't mean you have to be dealer now people sometimes they can see a piece of dust on the on the product they say take it out no no we'll take it out in photoshop later post me why can't you take it out at the time of the shooting so the basically digital is only a replacement for film everything else the thinking the lighting everything should be done what is should be done without i mean without digital means in the film days in the film days when we did everything where you shot and you made a mistake you finished end of story so same thing keep the same story the digital camera is only a replacement for the film so all the thinking everything should be am how am i going to get the picture right first time with lighting with everything then use the digital camera now photoshop also is a blessing to a certain design it's blessing means you got no product is 100% no one skin is 100% no one uh, jewelry is 100% so it needs to be touched up but what is happening now is people are shooting rubbish basically and then saying ah baad mein we'll do it or being too lazy to do a composition full composition they'll do do this do this do this and then go to the computer and compose the picture when it can easily be done in one shot they will do five shots and do it so that is not photography to me now when you come to still life photography still life is like you are like a artist you got a open canvas open canvas you have to paint on a canvas so same thing with still life photography you got so many products or prop products or props you have to compose it so you are starting from scratch so your skill comes in there that you have to no compose the picture this that and the other so you start with the main object then you add the props around then you focus on the main object all that is the thinking is different in still life photography because this and like in food photography because you are starting from scratch in food photography at least there's one main dish or two main dishes but in still life you got empty slate empty canvas you are starting from scratch so in still life you must think of what you want before and before starting have a rough idea of what you want the final th- final thing to look like. like a artist has got in his mind what he wants to what he wants to paint he doesn't start painting and then starts thinking so it's like you know um a person um, a carpenter or an interior decorator decorating a house the blueprint is there first before they start doing anything you can't start doing the work and say hey this cupboard is too big make it smaller this cupboard is too small make it bigger so same thing with photography have a idea in what the final final uh, image should look like and then start composing and start working of course you can always adjust according as you go around you get some brain wave but basically the basic funda should be your basic thing should be there now uh, when you go for industrial shoots industrial shoots it's very tiring it's very vast but the machinery is there you have to just choose the best angle it's not you can't move anything most cases you can't move anything in some cases you can but mostly you can't and then again you'll get clients who'll say are take from this corner this corner this corner this corner when not necessary in a, either you take from the front of the machine or from the back of the machine uh because those are the most important sides the raw material going in finished product coming out so that's what is important in the shoot now again when you go for a shoot people go ah, i was going for an industrial shoot what are you shooting where are the pictures going to be what what are they making what product are they making what are the main processes uh which is the main process uh how big is the plant um how old is the plant is it new is it painted is it not painted what lighting if normally you go for a recce if you can't go for a recce you can go the previous afternoon for a shoot and do a recce and plan the shoot then on the shoot also you must keep everything ready ask them i want a forklift to take me high to angle i want a uh, electrician to be with me all the time i want a ladder and i want a trolley uh, with a pallet to move my equipment around so all these uh, preparations have to be done before and and they have to be like send a email before keep this 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 ready for me then when you go there you won't have any surprises that 
I mean, electrician is on chutti and somebody else is gone somewhere, but you must have all this beforehand. I hope uh, everyone's getting me, but now I'm coming to food. Food is one of the most difficult to shoot. I mean, everyone thinks, take a, pick, take a plate, shoot. I mean, uh, years ago when I started, the guy would say, I'm coming to shoot food. They'll go to a restaurant downstairs, pick up the dish and come up. But now, no, no shoot will take place without a stylist. And a stylist is very important. Now, besides that, the thinking for each, uh, each type of photography, each type of food photography is different. Okay? Now, if you're shooting for, a, say, um, again, layout is important. You must know whether the shot is going to be horizontal, vertical, square. All this is very important. Or sometimes it's a half circle. What exactly what the layout is? Because you, when you're shooting, you have to keep that in mind. If you're going to chop and change, the art director is going to chop and change, it will look like a hodgepodge. Now, for a magazine article on food, you can just go to town. You can do anything you want. I mean, anything, any angle, anything will do as long as the food looks interesting. Because for a magazine, there's no hard and fast rule. But now, if you're shooting the same thing for a recipe book, now, recipe book, there may be 100 recipes. Now, you cannot just, if you're shooting, a, say, a chicken dish or a palak paneer or something, for example, uh, it has to match the recipe, what the person is doing. If the person after the recipes, after the person makes the recipe, if it's going to be a red curry, the photography, the photograph image should have a red curry, not a green curry. So all these discussions with the food stylist and Again, what props to use, what props not to use. And there also in recipe book, you can go a little, freak out a little bit because, I mean, it's a recipe book. There's no hard and fast rule. As long as the food in the plate is interesting looking and the color matches what uh, is in the recipe book, what is in the recipe. Now, one of the most difficult shoots is a food court when you're shooting for a food court and everyone, lots of people shoot for food courts. Now I say, Are, I'm shooting masala dosa. But the masala dosa in one food court will be different from masala dosa in another food court. The pani puri in one place is different from pani puri. The pani puri in, in Mumbai is different from pani puri in Delhi. Now you're showing uh, the food court sells six se puris in one plate. But you try to be smart and put eight se puris in one plate. And they put it up in the shop, and then there's a, there's a problem, there's an argument because you're showing eight sepuris, but you're selling only six. So the client must know what, how many they're serving. And again, it should look like they want to make. So stylist is very important. So when you go for food court shoot, let them give you a dummy. So they give you a dummy, and then the stylist can make a better version of that particular uh, dish. The, the other thing is very important one is. Uh, a rest, restaurant shoot. There are different types of restaurants and it's like a product shoot. Like I said earlier, now going back to product shoot, when you're shooting a product and you're putting props in the product, the props can make or break the product. If you've got say a watch and the watch is say a 5,000 rupee watch, but the props you put makes the watch look like a two lakh rupees watch, then you've lost it. Or the same 5,000 rupees watch if the props are looking cheap and looking like a 200 rupee watch, then again, a thousand rupee watch, again, it does not. So the props are very important in any shoot, basically in any, any product shoot, the props, mainly the product is the product, but the props are the ones that are going to make or break the product because it's that impression. It's like you see a car and you see it in a fancy surrounding, a palace. You think, hey, yeah, this is a, 20 pro, uh, 20 lakh car or 30 lakh car, but it may on, it may only be a five lakh car because the the situation is wrong. You've got the wrong impression. At the same time, they show it in some slum area or with a background, and it looks like a one lakh rupee car or two lakh rupee car. Again, the wrong meaning. The same thing with a restaurant photography. If you are trying to be smart and you go to a, five, a grade one restaurant and you put five star props like gold plates and silver plates and cutlery, fancy fancy goblets, it will give the wrong impression that this is a very expensive restaurant and the people won't come. At the same time, if you use Sasta props, like a plastic plate or Melaware plate or a Thali, people will say oh, this restaurant is too cheap and they won't come. So the exact 
the props, the plates, the cutlery, crockery you're going to show in the picture must be for that target. Like if it's a posh restaurant like Taj or Uberoi, then uh, Trident, you can put posh product, products because it's meant for that audience. But if it's a restaurant like Kaiba or uh, mainland China, you cannot use fancy products like that, fancy props like that because it will give the wrong impression that this is a very expensive restaurant, we can't go there. At the same time, you can put Sasta props, it will think, Are, this is a very cheap restaurant. No, we, not for us. So it's very, very important in these shots where the props are involved, that you put the correct props to give the correct impression of what, your, uh, what the product is about. Another thing is, the important thing is uh, packaging, uh, especially food packaging, where, you know, people say, you're taking a picture for food. First of all, the, the first of all, the layout, whether it's a, it's a vertical pack or a horizontal pack, you have to compose the picture in that. Then it's for packaging. Now, if you're going to show uh, square pieces of paneer and a dark green, uh, very dark green uh, palette, and when the person cooks it, they've got long pieces of uh, paneer and some light green palette, they'll go crazy. So it has to look as it is in the pack. Of course, you can't open a pack, put the food and cook it. It won't look nice. So again, you have to make a dummy, get, open the dish, let the stylist cook the dish and this is how it looks. The paneer is cut like this or it's cut like this or chicken pieces are cut like this or whatever. And what color is it? Green, yellow, curry, brown, green, whatever the colors are. Is that so? A replica of that has to be made because if somebody can choose somebody that you, I, I bought it and it showed like it showed it like this in a green curry, but the curry turned out brown. But no, so that's very important. So sh shooting, uh, lighting, and and uh, camera are the easiest part actually. After one or two years of photography, it's the easiest part. It's like riding a cycle or riding a driving a car. That's very easy. But the problem is thinking about each shot planning and shooting for the right target audience. Now, a client may try, you know, your clients marry, let's say money, we won't get a stylist because stylist is uh, expensive. No, a stylist is required for a food shoot. You cannot get away with anything because you cannot cook. Okay, if, they got no, if they're shooting in a food court or shooting in a restaurant, the chefs may be able to manage if you give them a little training on how to undercook the food and how to style the food, you might manage. But Someone is, who knows about food has to be present, otherwise uh, there'll be a problem. Other thing is uh, food, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, again, whenever you're, doing an, whenever you're doing any shoot, the client is your client, but he's not God, he doesn't know everything. You don't know everything, he doesn't know everything, the stylist doesn't know everything. So all the heads together will make something of it. So, don't sit quiet. If the client says, do this, I don't like this. This is the reason I don't like this. If he says, do this, you might have an argument. In the end, of course, in the end, it's his, it's his baby diet. You have to listen to some extent. But don't say, yes, yes, whatever he says, put this, put this, take out, put this. No, no. Argue, describe, discuss with him and be part of the, you're also an important person in the picture. You're not just for dabbing the button. You're there to give your own inputs. You're getting paid to give inputs, not to just press one button. So that's very important to be involved in the shoot and discuss with them every aspect of the way. And of course, you, when, you're, when you go to a restaurant, keep your eyes open, see how they serve, which spoon, which fork. You can't have a dish, Indian dish, which is, which is supposed to be eaten with roti and have a knife and fork. Or you can't have a spaghetti dish without a fork. Or you can't have a, a certain dish in a wine glass, but the wrong glass, not a wine glass, putting a whiskey glass instead of a wine glass. So all these are important in shooting. Just clicking a picture, anyone can click. Now the digital becomes so easy. Anyone clicks, presses, even a kid presses a button, a picture will come without fail. The idea is what you make, you know, like in India, we like, chalo, photo kishne ka yaar, photo girane ka, photo padwanu, all this stuff. You don't do all this. You're making a picture. And in, in the Germans, the Germans say making a picture. So what we are actually doing is we are not keeching or the or uh, drawing a picture. We are making a picture. So you have to make a picture. Now jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. It's there. You can't do anything. 
accepting layout out lighting and laying it out correctly now how do you make it by using the page and making it look a piece of art and arranging the jewelry nicely and of course sharpness and color balancing you have to do color balancing properly you know nowadays people shoot and don't use the tools there are tools gray card and and uh, color strips where you can do color balancing so all the colors in the jewelry a red red stone should not look black and a green stone should not black, look black now same thing with architectural photography you got a room you got a, a venue a house a flat a hall a, a whatever office the, it's there so you have to add your own lighting if you need to add lighting you need to add lighting but your lighting should not be seen but your lighting should be so subtle that actually the main light of the the main light the ambient light you see the architect the interior decorator has taken pains to uh, do the designing lighting design and the interior decorator whole to give it a full feel spotlights on paintings spotlights on tables and if you go and put a flash bang and you get nothing it makes no sense there's nothing so basically in architecture is to shoot the right choose the right angle uh, focusing and make sure everything is parallel and to shoot a good shot so now what i'll do i'll just go through my work uh, there's some story behind each work i'll uh, i'll uh, give you that as i go along can you see now yeah yeah okay so this is uh, this is just my background what i've done okay and uh, i as i said i don't do fashion i do everything else now you, i said you don't click a picture pull drop get out fit out all this you just make a picture that's that word is very important you make a picture now all the images i'm showing you it's all one shot i don't believe in doing any photoshop joining and cutting it's uh, everything is one shot now starting with this this is a simple product but it looks simple but it's not so simple because you have to get all the lettering to be sharp get the red color to be correct and also this gold the gold that is on the center that gold has to you have to put it reflect in such a way to get that gold and to get the gold uh, showing now this is a simple shot just one light but then all the texture has to be seen the texture and the details have to be seen again with this it's lighting is very simple but it's a question of focusing and doing that putting the light and reflectors in the right place to give you the full details now this is the i mentioned 360 this is the different 360 where the product is uh, shot it's, it's not this is not video it's actually shot 18 shots and uh, stitched together now if you are shooting flowers you might think are very simple because you shoot flowers put it in a vase focus and shoot but a shot like this can take up to 45 minutes one hour sometime because you'll find a gap on one side you'll find uh, too much white on one side you'll find too much pink on one side you'll find the shape is not correct so the there's again there's a stylist for this who's moving the flowers around to get a proper proper uh, uh, composition cup same thing with this shot like this you'll find too much white on one side too much purple on one side uh, too many gaps on one side. so you have to keep changing adjusting shifting around and you can't show too many flowers because uh, you can't keep adding because uh, as i said they're selling two they're selling two dozen flowers it should be two dozen flowers you cannot put 36 flowers just to fill up the place you have to use 24 flowers and put them arrange them correctly now again as i said props now this this cigarette is actually at that time was a 50 paisa cigarette but they wanted to give the impression that it is a 1 rupee cigarette not a 2 rupee cigarette but a 1 rupee cigarette so they the props they put had to be to give that impression so the pen also was not too fancy the clock was not too fancy the lighter was not too fancy so it would give a wrong impression if the props were the wrong props now this is, looks looks like a simple shot but this there is chrome uh, facing the camera there's chrome uh, 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 lying down there's there's chrome everywhere so to get all this details 
is a nightmare so this is a, is very difficult and a shot like this took something like 3 or 4 hours to do <coughs> now here this is just a composition but uh, the thing is they wanted to be this pen to be used by uh, college kids not school kids they wanted to be by college kids so how do you give impression of college kids by putting something which is college material not not school material and not some executive material what is this school material i call it sorry college material so the person will buy this pen for the college so the props are important now this they want ladies to buy so again the props have to be what ladies want and again the props should not be too fancy so the pen will look too fancy because the pen is not a very fancy pen now here the composition is one thing but the thing is to get the detailing you can even see the details the details in each shot somebody is, somebody is not mute somebody is disturbing yeah yeah i'll check that again here it's basically it's composition but uh, again the texture the shape of the fabric has to has to come out now this is tricky because black on black again this shot can very easily have been done five six shots separately but i said you have to do one shot when you're doing one shot then you get in the mood it looks like a painting and you feel like doing the shot otherwise if you just cut paste the keychain and the camera later it doesn't make sense there's no there's no fun in it same thing here even the ipad what is on the ipad was done while shooting and given a long exposure to for that to record it's very easy the cup could have been done separately that ipad separately the other shot on the left separately but the idea is to make the picture look like a painting now here also you can see the uh, basically i put this it's a food shot obviously but i put it for the layout there's a there's a center the center uh, it's a fold and the left is for the back and the and the right is the front so you have to know what is coming in front and what is coming at the back and compose it the client or whoever sorry whoever is receiving the brochure is not going to see the full thing in one shot they are going to see either the front or the back so you have to keep in mind that the front looks exciting on its own and then the back looks exciting on its own and you know that's the idea now here again also the client has done this composition in the studio it was very easy to do shoot uh, shoot it separately and do it but i said he take your time and do this composition of this compass whatever and then he wanted to put the boat and this, the other things supposed to be the teal is supposed to be the sea water separately i said no keep it in the shot and again in the center there is a fold so it looks like a painting and you feel you you get the feeling of how to compose both together now in the still of course these are some simple shots it's just ah, a shot like this again you got to be there at the right time of the day if you go too early in the day or too late in the day uh, the lighting will be wrong so obviously you won't get a good exciting picture now this is just a unusual angle it's a very old picture but just a unusual angle uh, sometimes you don't know what to do but you can because there's nothing exciting about the process but you have to make a exciting shot this shot was happening but in the shot why i put this shot because you have to make sure uh, i missed that point when i talking about industrial photography there are a lot of protective gear people have to wear gloves goggles cap shoes apron lots of things sometimes they have to wear sometimes don't have to wear sometimes you wear all sometimes you wear only goggles and helmet but india chalega sab sab chalega you just don't wear the helmet you wear a cap you don't wear the goggles so you have to ask the question what is the equipment required what what safety equipment do they require and accordingly make sure they get it and get clean stuff new stuff and make them wear other thing is in india there are a lot of public so some fun machine might require only two people or might require one person or it could not require anybody so you must ask questions is one person required yes one person two persons five person otherwise all will be standing in front of the machine wasting time and not required and this magazine this brochure will go abroad and they say this machine automatic machine why are there three people standing there or there's only one required to check the computer the data um why are there so many people around so the questions have to be asked so this one make sure the correct uh, gears put on 
this I just put because uh, the window had to be removed. The client wouldn't believe me when I said, please remove a window. A glass, fixed glass was there. I said, the only good angle is this angle, so please take out the window. Uh, so a carpenter was found to take out the frame and take out the glass so I could shoot from there. So sometimes you have to be like that. Tell the client, take out this. Not easy, not difficult. Carpenter can come in two minutes, take out the frame and take out the glass, then you've got a ang correct angle to shoot. This is just a thing, just a nice angle. Now here, uh, again, you have to make sure the equipment is all correct, in the correct place, nothing extra is in the place. All are wearing the correct gear. Also, what is on the screen should not be, uh, what, do you, what do you call, secret information or uh, that uh, someone is going to copy. So you have to make sure some generic data is on the screen. So if someone enlarges or goes and tries to find out some formula, they won't be able to find out. This also is a nice picture. This was used by, I used the leaf digital back. This was used in the calendar some years back as a uh, international, international calendar. Now short like this, lighting may be not so great because the, the ambient light, you have to put a little bit of light. But what is very important, took three, four hours to do is take out all unnecessary stuff from there. Let them clean up the area. Go on a high viewpoint from a forklift. Make sure only the correct people are required and they're wearing, this, they're wearing the correct gear. Again here, this guy, is he doing the right thing? Is holding the right thing? Is he holding it the right way? He's got the correct uh, gear. He doesn't need gloves for this shot, so he doesn't, there's no gloves. And uh, again, these are not great shots, but uh, this is just uh, to show you that like this guy's got gloves. They didn't need goggles. For this, you don't need goggles, but you need gloves and you need helmet and you need uh, their uniform. So all these things are important. Otherwise, some of them don't bother and you look like a fool if you shoot without uh, a food. Now, this is for a magazine. So you can go do what you want as long as the basic, uh, basic drink looks like it's supposed to look. Same here. This, now, this, this shot was shot vertical. If you try to make it horizontal, it won't look nice because uh, you can't just crop it and make it look nice. It look okay, it won't look nice. But this was actually shot, keeping in mind that this would be a vertical shot. Now, same these shots, you can do what you want because there's no fix fixed layout. Just make interesting pictures. This is for Taj also. Just how they serve it. The idea is to get the correct color, correct texture of the food. Here too, it's for a restaurant and they're serving it in this. So one is to keep... Uh... Now here, this is ordinary ragra patties. Now everyone shoots ragra patties. How do you make it different? So this is what the stylist did. And uh, besides doing all this, that one piece of kotmi that is there, if it's not, not looking nice, it can spoil the whole picture. So that small piece of kotmi is very important in this picture. Now this also, it's supposed to be cut alu, alu katlia is big fancy. It's a, it's, that was the name of the dish, but the way it is laid out just makes an interesting picture. Now this is cream center, the famous dish. And uh, lighting was okay, but uh, to get that at the back, to get the batura for that, uh, uh, you know, not uh, to be like puffed up because it doesn't last very long. In a few seconds, it will die again. So it has to be done correctly. Now, again, so you can improve on it. You can't. Uh, change it completely, but you can add some pieces, or organize the pieces, let the stylist do it to make it look interesting. And then the props, the, the background, that is where the, where the photographer comes in, choosing the background, composing the picture. Otherwise, this same, same dish, if the background wasn't interesting, the props are not interesting, would look very boring. Now, same thing here, if you see the front dish and see the back, the back is, uh, the props are put in such a way that it makes the, the shot look interesting. Now this is for Christmas, so they wanted a Christmas feel. 
So you add Christmas props and there's a Christmas pudding and that's all to give the Christmas feel. So basically the lighting for all the shots you've seen just now, lighting will be the same or practically the same. The reflectors might be in different places, but the lighting will be the same. So I, the thing is the thought process is the, like this is a prawn dish. They use these onions, they use this, they use mustard, they use what they use, the products, what the ingredients they use and how they serve it. That is important. And to come, the composition is important. Now a shot like this, the shot actually printed so small as you can see on the screen, but you can still count every piece in each place. You can count each thing. It's all because the light has to be in the correct place. If the light is in the wrong place, it'll all look like one patch and you won't be able to, it'll look like a brown patch, yellow patch, but now you can actually count, count the thing and on the, on the laddus, you can actually feel the texture. Now, so jewelry, for example, the jewelry is there. Now, how do you make it? How do you make it look interesting? Like this composition, this the comp if I put it straight boring, it would look boring. This angle and the way it's placed, you think that you're doing a painting like this chains. Think you're doing some painting and lay it out in such a way that it looks like a painting, you know. Now this necklace, this is actually, this is a very expensive necklace. Uh, the idea is to get the stones, everything clear and the diamonds, all the diamonds, the facets. Now this is actually a very small uh, ring, normal size ring, been enlarged, but no retouching. I mean, no touching up of the jewelry. The, the image was retouched, enhanced contrast and all that, but nothing was retouched on the, ju on the jewelry. Now this also is one, one shot. It's shot like this on, on the lipstick tube. This also, now it's very easy nowadays to shoot everything separate and then do one shot, uh, combine it on the computer. But this is only one shot done as it is by putting something sticking behind and doing the shot one shot. And it looks much more natural lighting wise and composition wise looks much more natural. This is, this is a small, this is a small piece, hardly one centimeter. And you can see the printing dots behind it. So this is a small piece. Again, uh, now see this is a simple uh, jewelry, but the the layout, the way it's laid out, and the props, the feather props, the way it's laid out, laid out, what is given it the the beauty. Now same. This is for a, somebody's not mute. Uh, this is for a cover picture, so you can go. Uh, on a cover, you can do freak out a bit because they're not going to look at the jewel, the shape. Because uh, basically in jewelry, you know, clients say do from this angle, do from that angle. But basically the top angle is correct because you get the proper design. The design like if you if you see this, if, if this is taken from a wrong angle, different angle, then one side will look big, the other side will look small. Like this, you're getting the perfect design, the full design, how the designer designed the jewelry. But in a cover, when a cover, you can freak out and go a little bit like this because it's only for cover. It's part of it's part, of, part of a design. Now, architectural, the idea is to give the you, the flashes used, but you can't make out the flashes used. But here, the time is spent in making sure all the paintings on the wall are straight, all the chairs are straight, and the gaps between the chairs are the correct gaps not left and not uh, too big or too big a gap or smaller gap. So that's where the uh, photographer comes in, not just putting the light and take, pressing, the, pressing the thing. Make sure all the, the chairs are in line, all the chairs are equally spaced, all the chairs are at same distance from the table and all the paintings are straight, not... Uh, Now this again, the reflection is in the in the glass. So make sure you're not seen and make sure not uh, the reflection is as good as the main shot. Now again, this is as is, but uh, using ambient light and uh, the correct exposure and of course the correct color balancing, which is very important. Taking a gray card and balancing or taking a gray strip which, which is even better, which has got uh, white, uh, gray and black and 
and doing doing the balance. Here also basically it's a simple thing, but you have to make sure all everything is uh, straight. All the uh, the neck, the neck, and all all those pieces are correctly uh, stacked in the on the shelves. And of course, the lighting also effect has come out here, like this. I mean, the different lighting effect on the wall, the different on the table, and again the the brown stools and counter that should not be. Uh, too dark. Also, all the plates and the serviette should be in line. All the ten cards should be in line. Yeah, all the stools should be lined. Cushions should be perfect. That is the more more important thing. The lighting will take ten minutes. Any assistant can put the lights. But the idea is to make sure everything else is uh, in the right place. Like this, like the effect on the on the ceiling, the effect on the wall. All, that is what has to be captured. This is also the the the, the feel of the restaurant come out, and also the way everything is laid out, the glasses in the correct place, the the, the cutlery in the right place, and of course the ambience. The, though the light you're putting your own light, but you have to get the feel of the thing. Now this looks slightly warm, but in actual fact, it's always warm. Now this is somebody's house. This is uh, the way it looks in the evening, uh, with the lights on inside and the twilight outside. This is the same house from a different angle, and uh, again, it, it, uh, they had different lighting, about six different type of lighting lighting setups. So I managed to capture all six different types. I should have kept it, but it's not there. Here again, you have to make sure that the uh, lights are in the correct place, the bed is made correctly, everything is correct. Plus, the lighting effect comes out. That's very important that the lighting effect comes out and the color of the uh, interiors comes out. Really. Like this color is important. I mean, now this is some personal work. Now, this is actually a feather, which is with a fiber optic light. It is painted to give this effect. It's, just, it's the same, feather, but the different lighting for the pictures. This again also with the fiber optic. The small bottles, very small bottles, uh, uh, six inches height, which have been. Lit. Now again, I was saying composition. These are good examples of composition. There, this calendar is this size, and. Uh, the dates are going to come here. Yes. So I knew roughly where the dates are going to come. So I left the place for the dates and the composition was done. So even if you see the limbo at the, uh, at the side, half cut, that was done with planning that I knew where the frame was. The mask was on the camera. You can put a mask on your, uh, on your camera or you can put a mask on your Photoshop when you're composing and make sure that uh, some people have live view. You can use live view. And uh, compose the picture using a uh, using the frame. You can make a frame in Photoshop. If it's say like this, uh, six inches by seventeen inches, you make a six by seventeen inches car mask on Photoshop and overlap it on your pictures. And you can see how look. This again is a layout uh, like knowing where the dates are going to come and composing it in the frame. If I try to chop change later, it would be a problem. Here I managed to show different religions and everything effect in this one shot. Same thing here, I could have shot the left hand side separate, I could have shot the right hand side separate, I could have shot the coin separate, the uh, transistor and then uh, put everything together. No, but this was done one shot with the background there, with the background there to give that color and knowing how much of each item is going to come in the picture. So either that telephone on the left, I wanted only that much, so only that much came. So shooting to a layout is very important. Same thing with this, this was uh, the same shot and th this is a spring which was shot as it opened. So again, knowing the composition of what is what. So, so good, sir. You have nice yeah, connection. Yes, Thank sir. you. And now my favorite line, this is my favorite line. 
cameras do not make images photographers do so koi anyone takes a camera in hand doesn't make them a photographer it's actually the photographer you have to be a photographer from from here okay yes sir you are so, right thank uh, you thank you your work is really great thank you so let me know when you want the next session yeah, yeah i will tell the jitendra said to what of thanks for this session well uh, amazing first of all hearty congratulations to you by providing all these informations and uh, uh, snapshots which you have done the work thank you and uh, it is lovely amazing thank and uh, we hope that we will definitely learn something from you mm. and the for as concern the lighting condition because there are so many other aspect you have not uh, shown any picture of the wedding i, I hope also in the next session i, I don't do wedding at all <laughs> i don't do wedding you don't do no but it is mentioned in your web no 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 not yeah. wedding okay okay uh, uh then uh, whatever it is there in case if you have any man i mean uh, uh, other pictures also to share with the same yeah yeah then you just keep in mind and uh, we are happy today and uh, thank you very much for joining with us and welcome, to our welcome. members and all are very much satisfied and mm. all the best to you for the future sir mm. okay thank you thank you thank, thank you. you sir thank you and thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay bye sir